Engineering inventions have revolutionized and improved virtually every aspect of modern day life. To remain competitive in the global economy, we need to excite young people to help drive the field. Tom Stoby has spent a lifetime doing just that. Tom established programs that attract students to the engineering profession, the University of Washington, and to materials science. These programs include the founding of Washington Mathematics Engineering Science Achievement Program, MESA, a statewide program for K-12 minority and disadvantaged students, a national successful summer material science camp for secondary teachers and students, the UW's Minority Science and Engineering Program, and the development of materials technology curricula for community colleges. When we're hiring, I think it's around 200 to 250,000 non-US engineers per year because we can't churn out enough engineers. He really believes that the way to keep America in engineers, whether they be material science or not, is to educate them from a very young age, um, get them involved, expose them to the different types of science and education and, and engineering and technology, and um, give them the freedom to have a good choice when they get to college. The field of material science is very exciting, but it's also a part of it relies on the heavy sciences like uh, physical chemistry, a lot of heavy engineering. Uh, Tom had the ability of simplifying a lot of things and we helped him. I met Tom when he ran a wonderful material science institute for high school science teachers. It was sponsored by National Science Foundation and it allowed us to bring the wonderful world of material science to our students and develop curriculum that we could use in our own classrooms. Two weeks I was at the material science camp for teachers, I fell in love with material science. At the end of the camp, I was so enthralled that I asked Tom, I said, you know, um, has anybody ever done a PhD in material science while still teaching? And he said, oh yes. And I, I said, great, that's fantastic, sign me up. From that seed that they started at Battelle Labs with uh, Dr. Stoby as part of the first team, um, that curriculum has been disseminated worldwide. Tom's passion for material science is pretty evident. Um, you know, he came up through the system at a time where there was very little attention paid to students that were not college level. And I think he was able to see very quickly that if they wanted to continue to produce good engineering students, they had to introduce engineering and material science and engineering style curriculum at a much earlier level. Tom learned of an opportunity through California Mesa to apply for a Hewlett Foundation grant. It supports African American, Native American, Latino, Pacific Islander, and women students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics careers. And it's fabulous because it starts early in elementary school, helping the students with their math and science, and then it continues on in to middle school, high school, community college, and into their careers. Since Mesa started uh, in 1982 in four high schools serving 88 students, that today it serves over 10,000 students. His extreme interest in providing sources of information for young people as though he were still, let's say, uh, the professor in charge is probably the most uh, driving force that I, I see in Tom and uh, I enjoy and I appreciate. And despite his retired status, he was still involved in all of these camps and many other things that I'm not aware of. He would be sending me copies of labs he designed so that I could um, beta test them in my classroom or just buzz through them and see if they were age appropriate. and. I'm thinking, why is he doing this? He's retired, but he loves it. And he has done this for over 50 years with incredible enthusiasm and effectiveness. And so I don't know who could deserve it more. Congratulations, Tom. This award has been such an amazing thing for you. I'm so proud of you. And I need you to know that your faith in me has kept me strong. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations, Tom. 
I'm so happy that you are receiving this award, and I know you, like me, are so proud of where Mesa at 30 is today. It's thriving. The foundation you created has worked, and I personally want to thank you for your mentoring, leadership, and support. On a lighter note, that your hair never gets gray. I'm starting to lose mine. Um, but uh, thank you again for everything that you've done, and best of luck to you, and congratulations again on this award uh, that you're getting. It honors um, the work that you've done, and it honors all of us uh, to be able to um, uh, share this moment with you. The only drawback is he went to Stanford. <laughs> We honor Thomas Stobie with the 2011 Distinguished Service Diamond Award.